much for staying with us. Let's get you the big story of the day where all eyes today will be once again on the Supreme Court, which is all head to hear the hijab ban case. This is the top court that will be hearing a batch of nearly 23 petitions that challenged the Karnataka High Court's order on the 15th of March. The verdict which upheld Karnataka government's order on prohibiting wearing hijab in any pre-university colleges. Remember, the Karnataka High Court in its order had held that hijab is not an essential religious practice in Islam and that school uniform is a reasonable restriction that could not be objected to. The petitioners, however, have sought relief from the Supreme Court contending that the High Court had vehemently failed to apply its mind and was unable to understand the core aspect of the essential religious practices, saying that it needs to be looked at, which is why today the Supreme Court will be taking up and this is going to have a big impact as well. Remember, the Karnataka government had not allowed those wearing hijab inside classrooms. Many of those students have also missed their examination owing to the Karnataka High Court's order. The Karnataka government has been extremely clear. Uh, the wearing of hijab is allowed outside but not inside the classrooms. In fact, any religious symbols not allowed inside the classrooms. Uh, there were weeks of protests that broke out in Karnataka. Several students and activists hitting the streets saying hijab is their right and they should be allowed to wear that inside the classrooms. So as per the order that was passed by the Karnataka High Court on the 15th of March 2022 when the uniform dress code for students which had been issued by the government or by the school management committee etc. shall be followed and due to this verdict the ban on headscarves that was imposed by the state government in February for the schools and PO colleges was upheld. The High Court also proceeded to dismiss all of those petitions and observed that a prescription of the uniform dress code for students was not a violation of their fundamental rights. In fact, the Karnataka High Court had further observed that wearing a hijab is not an essential religious practice for women who are following Islam. And thereafter, this decision in its entirety that has been questioned and has been taken up and is being challenged in the Supreme Court. We are told that this is uh, around 23 petitions which challenged the Karnataka Karnataka High Court's order upholding the hijab ban. A few of them uh, would be writ petitions which seek the right to wear a hijab for female Muslim students as well because those students were carrying out weeks of protests. Many of them apparently also missed out on their examinations because they were insisting that they will give, a, uh, give their exams only after wearing the hijab. Now the matter that has been listed for hearing uh, especially during this time in the Supreme Court where after months of requests for urgent hearing, now the matter that will be heard today, which would also mark the first working day of the new Chief Justice of India, Justice UU Lalit. So today the Supreme Court's hearing and the subsequent uh, decision of the verdict that's taken is going to be extremely crucial. Remember the argument of the educational institutions had been that in the schools the students had agreed for a uniform and if they decide to wear hijab inside it would be a violation of the uniform that has been put in place by the educational institutions. So uh, if hijab is allowed then uh, several students in fact had also come into the educational institutions wearing saffron scarves saying if hijab job is allowed, then why not saffron scarves? And so this is going to have an impact on the educational institutions across the country on any verdict that's given by the Supreme Court. As of now, the Karnataka High Court verdict is very clear on what uh, on the religious symbols not being in, uh, allowed in the classrooms. Legal editor Harish Nair is joining us uh, with more details on what's expected today. Harish, uh, you know, week-long protests that took place in Karnataka after which the Karnataka High Court settled the debate, but it's been challenged in the Supreme Court and it will be taken up today. Yes, sir. Good morning, Pradeva. Uh the uh, Supreme Court uh, will be hearing appeals. Uh, in fact, there are around 23 uh, appeals uh, filed by various uh, Muslim students against uh, Karnataka judgment of March 15 this year. Uh, the High Court had dismissed the petition seeking permission to attend hijab and ruled that uh, wearing of hijab is not an essential uh, religious practice. Uh, this is uh, in the High Court, the right to education institutions to ban wearing of hijab in uh, the crucial hearing, in fact, comes five months after the appeals had been filed. Despite, uh, despite re repeated assurances, the matter had not got listed. The court has said three important things while dismissing the petition. So, number one, hijab is not a part of the practices of Islam. Number two, 
uniform is a reasonable restriction on the fundamental right to freedom of expression of maintaining decorum uniformity discipline and equality in the education institutions uh, the government has Uh, the power to issue a government order and no case is made out for decision so this was uh, what the karnataka high court had said against which uh, uh, the muslim agreed so all eyes will be on the supreme court today uh, 23 petitions we are told more on that challenging on the karnataka high court's uh, verdict on the same uh, upholding hijab ban for the moment thank you very much